He is known for being an English scholastic philosopher and logician with numerous works attributed to him. He is recognized for studying under Thomas Wilton and receiving his Master of Arts degree in 1301. He was known as the Dr. Planus and Perspicuous. His name is Walter Burley. In the realm of medieval philosophy, one name stands out, Walter Burley, the English scholastic philosopher and logician. Born in the 13th century, Burley's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him on a remarkable intellectual journey. From his early days as a student under the guidance of the eminent Thomas Wilton, to his time as a fellow of Merton College, Oxford, Burley was on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. But it was in Paris, the epicenter of scholarly pursuits, where Burley's brilliance truly shone. For 16 years, he delved deep into the realms of philosophy, becoming a renowned fellow of the prestigious Sorbonne by 1324. Burley's disputations with his contemporaries, most notably the influential William of Ockham, marked him as a formidable thinker in his own right. His incisive reasoning and meticulous logic earned him the title of Dr. Planus and Perspicuous, a testament to his clarity of thought. Yet, Burley's intellectual pursuits did not confine him solely to academia. For 17 years, he embraced the role of a clerical courtier, traversing the domains of England and Avignon. It was during this time that his philosophical ideas found practical application, as he navigated the complexities of courtly life. Through his experiences, Burley discovered the intricacies of societal dynamics and the delicate balance between power and reason. Walter Burley's sheer ingenuity and unwavering dedication left an indelible mark on the annals of medieval philosophy. His disagreements with esteemed thinkers and his impressive body of work attest to his intellectual prowess. As the pages of history turn, Burley's legacy as a philosopher and logician remains a source of inspiration for generations to come. Walter Burley, a prominent philosopher of the 13th century, was a man of mystery. His exact place of birth and early years remain shrouded in uncertainty. Some speculate that he was born in the quaint village of Burley in Wharfdale, Yorkshire, while others believe it was in Burley near Leeds. What is certain is that his intellectual journey began to unfold like a captivating tale. In 1309, Burley found himself appointed as the rector of Welbury in Yorkshire. However, he chose not to fulfill his duties as a rector, instead employing a substitute to carry out the responsibilities. This decision allowed him to channel the income from the position towards financing his studies in the vibrant city of Paris, a hub of intellectual enlightenment during that era. It was in Paris where Burley immersed himself in the teachings of Peter Lombard's sentences, delivering profound lectures on the subject. It was also during this time that he crossed paths with the ideas of his contemporary, William of Ockham. Although Burley's commentary on the sentences has unfortunately been lost to history, the impact of his encounters with Ockham and other influential thinkers would shape his philosophical journey. Walter Burley's philosophy revolved around deep contemplation of profound questions about divinity and morality. His teachings delved into the core dilemmas of nihilism and the despair of meaninglessness. Just like Nietzsche recognized the limitations of traditional Christian beliefs, Burley too sought to explore alternative paths to counteract nihilism. From the shadows of history, Burley's intellectual lineage can be traced back to the likes of Heraclitus, Empedocles, Spinoza, and Goethe. These ancestral thinkers provided him with a foundation to examine the nature of existence, to challenge conventional wisdom, and to seek new perspectives. Today, as we grapple with the existential challenges of modern nihilism, the teachings of Walter Burley continue to resonate. His philosophy urges us to confront the dangers of nihilism while recognizing the possibilities it offers for new interpretations of divinity and morality. Burley's intellectual legacy stands as a guiding light, reminding us that we must constantly seek new ways to understand and navigate the complexities of our daily lives. Walter Burley, a renowned philosopher and courtier during the political upheavals of 14th century England, found himself embarking on a remarkable journey. It was a time when the deposition of Edward II had thrown the nation into turmoil, and Burley had been assigned a significant task, to seek the canonization of Thomas, 2nd Earl of Lancaster. Thomas had been a prominent figure in the opposition against Edward II and had gained a martyr-like status after his untimely death. Burley's mission took him to the papal court at Avignon, where he sought an audience with Pope John XXII. Little did Burley know that his path would cross with that of another revered thinker, William of Ockham. Coincidentally, Ockham found himself in Avignon under different circumstances. Summoned to answer charges of possible heretical statements, Ockham's presence added a twist of fate to Burley's journey. These two philosophical minds, both sharing a passion for knowledge and intellectual exploration, would soon find themselves intertwined in their pursuits. During his time in Avignon, Burley found support and patronage from Richard de Berry, a renowned art connoisseur and advocate for the advancement of science and literature. 
The Barry's patronage allowed Burley to translate some of Aristotle's works into English, further elevating his standing in the intellectual community. As Burley delved deeper into his mission for canonization, he began to comprehend the profound connection between philosophy and politics. His experiences exposed him to the complexities of power dynamics, religious fervor, and the intertwining of personal convictions with societal values. These realizations shaped Burley's philosophical worldview and laid the groundwork for his future contributions. In the early 14th century, a young scholar named Walter Burley found himself immersed in the world of theology and philosophy. His journey began with his mastery of theology, which he achieved by 1324. It was during this time that he may have become acquainted with his younger contemporary, Adam Burley, who would go on to leave a mark of his own. In May 1327, Walter's dedication and knowledge led to his appointment as Canon of Chichester. However, his thirst for intellectual exploration and growth would soon lead him to exchange this position for a canonship at Wells in 1332. It was here that he had the privilege of serving under the influential dean, Barry. Barry was no ordinary dean. He had played a significant role in the historic coup d'état of 1330, which resulted in the execution of Mortimer and the accession of Edward III to the throne. In 1333, Barry was consecrated as Bishop of Durham, a position that was initially opposed by the monks who had elected their own candidate, Robert de Grains. However, the king intervened and appointed Barry as the rightful bishop, showcasing the power dynamics of the time. Walter Burley's career continued to flourish under Barry's patronage. He found himself in the company of esteemed intellectuals such as Thomas Fitzralph, Richard de Kilvington, Robert Holcott, and Thomas Bradwardine. Their intellectual exchanges would shape Walter's philosophical outlook and contribute to his own insights. As Walter delved deeper into his studies, his intellectual pursuits became intertwined with the religious and political landscape of his time. The year 1334 marked a turning point in his career when he was appointed as Lord Treasurer, a position of great influence and responsibility. Soon after, he exchanged this role for that of Lord Chancellor, further solidifying his impact on the political and administrative spheres. The close bond between Walter and Barry raised speculation about their familial connection. It is believed that Walter may have been a relative of Adam Burley, the younger contemporary who also made a name for himself in the academic circles of the time. Whether it was a shared bloodline or simply a coincidence of surnames, the connection between these Burleys adds an intriguing dimension to their respective stories. Walter Burley's ecclesiastical career was not only a testament to his intellectual prowess, but also a reflection of the complex world he inhabited. Through his association with influential figures and his own contributions to philosophy and theology, Walter left a lasting impact on the intellectual landscape of his time. His story serves as a reminder of the power of knowledge and the significance of fostering intellectual communities for the betterment of society. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.